I have unresolved resentment towards my father, and I'm gonna express it through property damage. Pape, why? What's up, everybody? My name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. We just kind of spent the day by ourselves, and we're finally about to go on our date with Robert, so let's get to it. I walk into the bar and see the usual crowd of barflies drinking beer and watching sports. I spot Robert at the back of the bar and wave hi as I walk over. Hey man, how's it going? Hey buddy. Mm. Ahoy there, Skipper. Mary, how many times do I have to tell you? I have no boat. I am not a sailor or a skipper or anything like that. Where is your baby? Did you bring your baby here? Did you ever find him? Robert and Mary are here? Uh-oh. Oh. I brought Mary along. Figured we needed a drinking buddy. Aw oh man, I was excited to get to know Robert a little better. Now I have to deal with this weird married lady making passes at me? Give it a rest, bro. Don't look so scared, kiddo. We're just having a drink. I... Yeah, speaking of which, I think it's time for the first round. What are you having? Hmm? Considering I told Manda Panda not to wait up, I, I should, you know, it's a, it's a close walk home. I'll just go whiskey straight up. A dad after my own heart, huh? Oh, what? Did you like that? Oh, he really liked that. Robert orders three shots of whiskey and passes them between us. Well, this wasn't how I expected my night to be going. Here's the bad decisions and relax moral values, fellas. Uh, can we send Mary home? What have I gotten myself into? We all knock back the shots. I almost choke on the whiskey as it burns down my throat. Holy hell, that was a kick. I look over at Robert and Mary, who seem like old pros at this. Robert grabs his jacket and throws it on. Let's get marching. Where are we going? What? The night's young, chief. Come on, we're bar hopping. Oh, okay, that's fine. Oh, all right. We'll leave the bar and start walking down the street. I still don't know this area of town very well, so I just follow Robert. So where are we headed? Hey. Irish I were drinking. Oh, it's an Irish pub. That's a great name. A good pun is the whiz key to my heart. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> it's not for you, Mary. Puns are the lowest form of humor, Pierre. Try harder. You try harder at uh, knowing where your baby is, huh? That, that's too, she doesn't know her baby jokes. Uh, I'm running out of things to say to her. Ouch, am I gonna be the butt of the joke all night? Oh. Jesus, Mary, put your fangs away for a second. We walk into Irish I were drinking. The bar is pretty much the same as Jim and Kim's, except for the old-timey Irish memorabilia on the wall. Next round, what are you having? Okay. Whiskey hasn't failed me yet. Beer might be good. Do they make fruity Irish cocktails? You know, you know the first one was rough, but we'll get used to it. Let's have another whiskey shot. <laughs> Let's do it. Robert orders three more glasses of whiskey and we post up in a garish green booth. Mary slides in and settles up next to Robert, which makes me breathe a sigh of relief. Huh. Let's sip this one, why don't we? Hey. Suit yourself. Mary immediately downs her shot in one gulp and burps loudly. Hey. That'll put hair on your chest. Does Mary have... hair? Uh, you are truly a paragon of grace and beauty. Mary grabs my drink and sips on it. What? Uh, uh, hey! Uh, Pierre, be a dear and get us another round, will ya? What the hell, Mary? Hey. I don't know how to process this evening at all. I get up and order another round of drinks from the bartender. As I head back, I see Mary and Robert having a lively conversation. Robert roars with laughter. I don't think I've ever seen the guy smile, let alone laugh. Wait a second. Is this... Am I third-wheeling a different date? Is Mary cheating on Joseph with Robert? I take a seat across the booth from them and pass out the drinks. So Edith's kid snuck some pot brownies onto the table at the last bake sale, right? And I spot that little hemp sweatshirted gremlin in the act. So I go up to Edith with the baggie and I'm about to tell her when all of a sudden she just freaks out at me. You're ruining the bake sale, she says. I should have been PTA president. Your roots are bad and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? I told her to have her brownie, <laughs> that everything would be fine. <laughs> they both erupt in laughter. I politely follow along with the story. She ate three. <laughs> <laughs> More laughter. Okay, this was actually pretty funny. Hey. 
She called the cops and told them that time had stopped. <laughs> she went on a journey. Mary looks directly at me. Do you smoke weed? What? You know, the devil's lettuce. I... I have two big fat blunts in my purse right now. Want a blaze? Oh, Mary. Oh, Mary. Oh, Pierre's gonna have a hell of a night. Let's see. What? No? I am a law-abiding citizen. You with the feds? Okay, so... I gotta be a bad boy to get the bad boy. That That's at least what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna just ask if she's with the feds. Pierre's down for anything tonight. I worked hard for what I have, and no two-bit corner boy is gonna drop the dime on me. So you take what you're pushing somewhere else, and I'll keep running my business the way I want it run. That doesn't seem like I accepted. What? Remember, you come at the king, you best not miss. Jesus, kid, dial it back. Robert giggles helplessly. <laughs> so that was a good answer, at least. Hey. I'm just kidding, cowboy. Mm. Lay off the kid, Mary. He might not be used to your brand of humor. Mm. Fine, fine. Ah. We sit around and sip our drinks. People watching and cracking jokes. After a little bit of time, I begin to warm up to Mary. Her jokes become much funnier and way less scary. But it seems like she's not going anywhere anytime soon. I just wanted some time alone with Robert. I wonder if I can get her to leave somehow. Isn't Joseph wondering where you are? Lots of eligible bachelors around, huh? Could you get the next round? I feel like that might be the best one. Knowing she's married, I don't know if I could do the middle option. And talking about Joseph isn't gonna help. She barely cares about her baby. So I'm gonna go with could you get the next round? You trying to ditch me, pal? Oh, she knows. She knows. I know, because if you're trying to ditch me, you can just tell me to scram. I just, no, no, it's fine. Pierre wants alone time with his new best buddy, Robert. Read you loud and clear. The wingman breaks formation to pursue their prey. Mm. Now, if you fellas will excuse me, Mary needs to sink her teeth into a helpless boy. You mean like in a, hey, are you a sailor, buy me a drink way? I sure hope so. Hope she's not just going around, you know, biting people, all vampire style. Unless she is a vampire, but that was more Damien speed. Go with God. Nice seeing you. Ugh. Deuces, nerds. Mary gets up and saunters over to a younger looking guy at the bar. Oh. She grows on you. Does she though? I feel like she kind of delights in making men suffer. Ugh. Well, she does. But what about her and Joseph? Mm. What about him? You know, they're married, and she definitely tried to get in my pants the other night, and I gesture to her across the bar, where she's making goo-goo eyes at the young boy from before. He looks like he's being held hostage. Hey. Oh, that's just the thing she does. She's harmless. So that's the boy she's hanging off of. Poor kid looks like he's seen war. Ah. Robert lets out a hearty laugh. Hey, I got him to laugh. <laughs> oh man, you know I pegged you for one of those straight lace types. Oh, don't worry. I got pretty wild back in my day. Mm. Still got a little wild in you? <laughs> you know it. There's so much wild in me. I have a child I need to care for. <laughs> so I don't think I want to come off too strong, but I am still down for anything tonight. So I'm just going to say you know it. Oh, okay. Robert orders a couple more rounds of shots. I gulp. What am I getting myself into? Mm -hmm. Think you can go shot for shot? There's only one way to look cool here. I grab the shot closest to me and down it. Robert looks impressed. He takes his shot and knocks it back. Mm -hmm. That's one. So... What do I even talk about? He's so cool, and he probably hates small talk. Uh, so how are... things? I hate small talk. We tried. We tried anyways. Okay. Too many people, and this isn't necessarily you, but too many people think that they have to fill the dead air with noise. Personally, I think they're afraid of the silence. Or they're afraid of what the other person is going to think of the silence. Hey. If you want some unsolicited advice, just learn to be comfortable with silence. Mm. Nothing wrong with two people sitting in silence and drinking whiskey. Oh, alright. Hey. Robert and I sit in silence and drink whiskey. I take in the rest of the bar. Patrons laugh, playing darts, spilling beer. Mary giving the hard sell to that young man. The young man pretending he's got a phone call from one of his friends. Huh. Maybe silence is nice sometimes. So, you ever kill a man? I choke on my drink. Excuse me? 
You know, watch the life drain from someone's eyes. It's not just their life, you know. It's their hopes and dreams draining away. Every memory and experience they've ever had, gone. Uh, no. Oh. Great, me neither. Robert knocks back his shot and motions for me to do the same. I reciprocate. Mm. I'm just messing with you. Relax. I laugh nervously. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I laugh nervously again. <laughs> We sip more whiskey and people watch some more. Mary has her sights set on another man after the other one excused himself to the bathroom, and I assume crawled out the window. Gosh, this whiskey's hitting me hard. Gosh, this whiskey's hitting me hard. You betcha. Robert gets out of the booth, shouldering his jacket. Mm. Let's roll. Uh. Sorry, whiskey. Inside voices. Uh. Let's roll. Wait, what about Mary? Huh. Brother, Mary's gonna be just fine. I look over at Mary, who's lying on the bar in front of some poor sap. She's singing happy birthday to him while he insists that it's not his birthday. We make our way out of the bar and back onto the street. I'm trying my hardest not to stumble, but man, that sidewalk is just coming right at me. I hope Robert doesn't notice me tripping over my own feet like this is the first time I've ever been drunk. Where to? Mm. You'll see. I'm guessing someplace abandoned like a mall or a storefront he knows about. I follow Robert through street lamp spotlights until we eventually arrive at a rundown strip mall. There's a beauty salon, a sex shop, a computer repair store that looks like it's been closed for 10 years, and finally a liquor store. Oh. Wait here, I'll be right back. After a minute, Robert returns with two wine bottles and brown paper bags. He hands one to me. Cheers. He sits on the curb and drinks. He motions for me to do the same. This is really not where I expected the night to go. I take a sip. White Zinfandel? What? Nothing. I just wasn't expecting. It is delicious, fruity, and refreshing. Don't judge me. I start to say something, think of his lecture about valuing silence earlier and stop. I sip on my wine and watch cars drive by. Huh. Let's throw rocks at shit. <laughs> Robert is a very sophisticated man. Robert suddenly hurls a rock at a stop sign. The ding echoes throughout the empty parking lot. Mm -hmm. That felt good. He presses a stone into my free hand. Now you try. Uh, I don't know. With feeling. I look at the rock in my hand and look at the stop sign. Back at the rock, back at the stop sign. I know it has to be done. I got a problem with authority. I'm sorry, this one's for you, Pappy. <laughs> Pappy? Oh, we're doing this for Pappy. I have unresolved resentment towards my father, and I'm gonna express it through property damage. <laughs> Pape, why? <laughs> I hold the rock at the sign. It sails over the stop sign, right into the window of a parked car, leaving it cracked. Oh, Dude, run! <laughs> I leap up and dart into the nearest alley, wide in hand. I hear Robert's footsteps behind me. After I'm sure I'm far enough away from the cracked window that I'm no longer culpable for this hyenas crime, I stop to catch my breath. Hmm. Maybe we strike rock throwing from the to-do list. Agreed. Suddenly, my stomach growls, oh man, I am starving. Uh. Let's get pizza. I can't argue with that. What's good around here? Actually, I don't even care if it's good. I just need it to be edible and in my mouth in the next five minutes. Mm. I know just the place. I follow Robert through a maze of alleys and side streets until we eventually end up in front of a tiny hole in the wall, pizza joint. The bright red neon sign reads, Pete's Piece of Pizza. Ta-da! I can see a few exhausted looking workers behind the counter tossing dough and pulling piping hot pizzas right out the stone ovens. My stomach rumbles again. We go up to the counter and get ready to order. Can I get two slices of Hawaiian pizza? Oh wait, Pierre, you're cool with pineapple on pizza, right? Of course! It, it belongs there. See, tomato, being a fruit and all, if tomato can do it, why can't a pineapple? I stand firmly, feet planted in the soil with this belief, and if you disagree, well, uh, you're missing out. I... We wait a minute for our pizza to come out the oven. I'm practically drooling at the smell. The cashier hands us each a giant slice on a paper plate so saturated with grease that I'm worried it'll fall apart. 
We take our pizzas outside and wander through the alleyways as we eat. I take a bite. It's absolutely delicious. Pineapple is truly the best pizza topping. You said it. Man, I feel way better now. You and me both. We hear noises coming from the slightly ajar door in the alley. Robert looks at me excitedly. Got any more of that wild in ya? Alright guys, that's where I'm gonna end this one. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps out the channel. And I'd say we're having a pretty nice date with Robert. Getting into our wild side a little bit. What's the wildest thing you've ever done on date? Don't tell me anything too bad. I'm sure we'll be finishing our date next time, but until then, I love you guys. Take care. Peace.